If you're in the market for a hot hatchback, there's one name that's going to pop up time and again, and that's Volkswagen's Golf GTI. And in 2016, you're certainly spoiled for choice. For example, you have the base Golf GTI. Then, you've got the Golf GTI Performance. And right at the top of the tree is the Golf R. But three is definitely not enough when it comes to Volkswagens. This is essentially its 40th anniversary present to itself, the Golf GTI 40 years. Another one? Really? Isn't that a bit of overkill? Well, yes and no. The 40 years edition, which is called the Club Sport in other markets, has been built to, well naturally, mark the 40th anniversary of the Mark I GTI, which turned the performance world on its head when it launched in 1976. It sits second from the top in the local GTI range, both in price and power, and it's going to be limited to a run of just 500 cars. And Volkswagen Australia tell us they managed to find 100 manual versions as well, but they've been almost instantly snapped up. It's not surprising, this is a pretty serious bit of kit. In fact, it can make more power than the Golf R, but only for 10 seconds at a time. It's got the same 2.0-litre turbocharged engine as the R, in a slightly different state of tune. The 40 years is good for 195 kilowatts out of the box, and VW says it'll overboost to 215 kilowatts for 10 seconds at a time in anything over third gear and full throttle. It's kind of like a push to pass button, only the button is under your right foot. And that overboost figure, by the way, actually makes the 40 years the most powerful production GTI ever made. You can tell the 40 years apart from the normal GTI thanks to its unique body kit. And these 19 inch wheels too were actually picked by Australian GTI enthusiasts in an online competition. There's unique fabric on the seats, an Alcantara steering wheel and Volkswagen Australia have stacked the 40 years with all of its electronic safety gear including emergency city braking and radar cruise control. It's the same car in the suspension and steering department as the GTI Performance, which is no bad thing. And the car is easily capable of dealing with the extra horsepower, even though it's being channeled through the front tyres. VW's tricky performance diff helps a lot here, keeping the car's front end in check, even under full power. The bigger brakes too have been pinched from the top spec Golf R. The 40 years has actually got 26 kilowatts over the Golf GTI performance, and you can really feel it in the mid-range, it's super strong. It also gives the car a bit more of an edge, a bit more of a personality, and it feels pretty good to be bad. Money-wise, it sits only a few thousand dollars below the better equipped all-wheel drive Golf R, but there's only 500 40 years coming to Australia. It's worth noting too that the 46 and a half grand GTI performance can't be ordered with a manual transmission and a six speed 40 years is less than $2,000 dearer. We'd bet our bottom dollar that the 40 years is going to poach sales away from the GTI performance. But given its price, its pace and its relative rarity, we expect the 40 years to come and go pretty quickly. But for the moment, and if you can find one, it's absolutely the GTI to buy. And to read the full review, you can click on the link right here.